Hey, welcome to uh, How to Be a Sound Engineer. Um, my name is Sean, and uh, I'll be teaching you a few things today. Uh, but we, generally speaking, we uh, do a lot of tips, tricks, and uh, teach you how to do mixing, mastering, different audio stuff um, through the gambit. So uh, I'll be releasing videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Um, we also live stream on Twitch. Uh, live studio sessions so sometimes it's me sometimes it's with other people uh, clients guests whatever so don't forget to tune into that the link for that is in the description box below uh, you can follow us on twitch and uh, that way you know what's when we're, we're live um, and make sure when you subscribe to this channel you click on that little ding bell button uh, thing to make sure you get the notifications right away that uh, we brought a new video so you can check that out all right, today we're going to talk about um, reducing a hiss and removing uh, unwanted uh, background noise. Maybe you have some noisy cables. Maybe you have a uh, poor electrical uh, system where it's you're getting a lot of electrical interference. Or maybe it's just a noisy mic or a noisy environment, maybe. Uh, maybe not ideal. Maybe you have a computer fan. Maybe um, whatever. Uh, any number of like hums, um, hisses, stuff like that. Um, and the easiest way or easiest approach, a first approach you should take is through EQ. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you this on this track here. Um, so on the screen, on the main screen, you see the, uh, track view. Um, if you've been watching a few of my videos, I just did some videos on this song specifically. Uh, this is going to be used for a video game, uh, YouTube channel. Um, so, what we are uh, doing here is, is I recorded some uh, different keyboards and different uh, instruments um, analogically. Analogically, that's not even a word. But it, it, through analog, through actual physical playing those keyboards, um, so they weren't necessarily MIDI devices that were being controlled in the software. Uh, they were uh, actual pieces of equipment playing real sound through, through uh, a soundboard into the thing. And there was some noise coming through. Um, the keyboard's a little noisy. Uh, sometimes it can create some issues. So uh, we've had to just deal with that, especially in these quieter tracks. So um, first thing I would do, uh, and I already did on this track, um, is apply some EQ. So as you can see on here, I rolled off the top and bottom, and I'll solo this track. This is that sax track we did the automation on. Um, and you, as you see, I could turn this analyzer on. I'll look, play it for a second. You could see kind of the roll off here. And you could hear still some hiss some background noise. So let's take a listen. You can actually, I'll start it here. That way you can hear it come in. You can actually hear the hiss come in. Okay, so you can still hear background hissing noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this EQ a little bit more, see if I can sweep out a little bit more of, of those those I don't want, um, and go from there. And after, after we do that, uh, if there's still a significant hiss, we can throw some uh, noise-canceling plugins that are made to help restore with stuff like this. Um, this should be a, probably a Z noise that we're hearing. Um, so let's, let's, uh, apply a little more EQ and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm not sure if you could hear that or not, but a little bit of improvement, not a whole lot, but I don't want to remove all the good stuff here. So I mean, yeah, I could EQ probably some more of it out, but then I'll be really impacting the instrument. Um, and especially like, we don't want to create 
we don't want to impact the instrument, especially in the mix of things. And we're going to take a big notice of it as it's soloed. So that's why we're soloing it, so we can try to pick apart it. We can. So I'm going to use the plugin called Z Noise. I'm going to close this real quick. It's made by Waves. Um, my hair restoration. Uh, Z Noise Stereo. I'm going to throw that on here. Uh, mm, probably after the EQ. All right, so we're going to play this real quick. Um, and uh, get it toned in. So as you can hear, it's gotten a lot better. Let's turn A, B it real quick. Is it on? Oop, what was that? Turn that off real quick. So there's, there's it uh, off. There's it on. So it's gotten a lot better, definitely. So I'd say it's definitely improvement, and the, and the noise reduction definitely helped a lot, especially within the mix. It should help even more. So let's take a listen. And uh, also... Uh, what's it doing? No. Oh. So another thing to take notice is automations. You have to tuck them behind by, so that way they're not, I was trying to adjust this clip and roll in, just fade in a little bit like that. Um, you could trim that off. You can do a lot of things. Um, that's more just tidying up, but. All right, so that's, that is how you clean up audio. There's different types of noise reduction plugins out there. Um, there's Z Noise, X Noise, um, Hum plugins, plugins designed for crackles and clicks. Uh, Waves makes a bunch of these. Uh, another good one I would recommend would be uh, some of the plugins from uh, Isotope. They make some great mastering plugins as well as uh, their 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 mastering suite or whatever uh, comes with things like uh, de click de clickers, de noisers, de reverbers, uh, dialogue de noisers, uh, hum removal, stuff like that. Some of them work a little better than others. Sometimes when you have different background noises, you need to just um, experiment with some of these different plugins. So it's good to have a few in the arsenal you can pick and choose from because you never know quite how that sound is going to be. Um, another great tool for removing unwanted noise is if you have Adobe, um, audition, uh, Adobe makes uh, through their CC they they have a audio editing. Basically it's a DAW. It doesn't support MIDI. Uh, I don't 
think it hasn't support MIDI unless there was any recent updates. But uh, so it doesn't support MIDI, which we wouldn't be using to record music. I mean, I guess you could if you didn't do any MIDI work, but um, but it has some really great tools in Adobe Audition for getting in there and detail removing sounds. And I actually have a video on that, a previous video um, in my playlist. Uh, so you can check that out about removing sounds. Um, but this is kind of an update to that. And I kind of wanted to show a real world example of something we've been working on and the noise there. So I'll probably go through some of the different tracks that were recorded this way and go through and just add some of that to kind of bring down that noise floor and make it sound cleaner. Anyway, hope that helped. Hope if uh, you have any questions or anything uh, or any suggestions or just want to talk about it, go ahead and comment the section, uh, comment section below and let's have a discussion. Um, so I uh, hope you guys had a great day. Don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe. Don't forget that we do a live stream of studio sessions and uh, go check out our Twitch. Link is in the description box below. You can follow us on there so you know when we're live. And uh, uh, don't forget to click the, when you subscribe here. Don't forget to uh, click the little bell icon so you're notified right away. All right. Everyone have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.